Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I seem to have gotten into the habit now where every single night it gets to like 10 to 12 and I just go on Hinge and on Tinder and on Bumble and I'm swiping. I'm swiping all these guys. Oh, I don't know what gets over me. Loneliness. It's called loneliness. It comes to you at that time because that's the time when you look around and you see nobody. During daytime, you got stuff to do. You keep yourself busy. And when you get home and you finally decide to go to bed, that's when you realize there's no one to talk to. There's no one to share stories about how your day went. Someone's shoulder to cry on. Someone to say, I'm proud of you when you share your achievements. This is a comment on one of my posts advertising some wristbands you can buy that tell everybody that you're single. And the only thing more embarrassing than being single would be wearing a wristband in public, notifying everybody that you're single. I'm going to agree with everything she said. Maybe some people will find that as a great idea, but I would never wear something like that in public. Having said that, though, this is the third video I've seen this week with women holding up signs looking for husbands. I'm just not sure this is a much better idea than wearing a wristband. Whenever men use the term cat lady, it makes me laugh for multiple reasons. One of them being that you are just exposing the fact that you can be replaced by a cat. Like men try to act like we need protectors and they're so special we can't live without them. Yet it's a societal joke that women will choose cats over you. Is it really though? You're not choosing cats over anyone. You're choosing cats because there isn't anyone. It's easy to brag about how satisfied you are with one option when you've tried the other option so many times and it didn't work out the way you wanted it to work. You're not buying a cat to replace anyone. First of all, if you did, it won't always be cats. You're buying it only to fill in that void, to feel like you matter to someone or something, to have at least something to sleep next to you, to have someone to talk to even though it's not gonna talk back. Otherwise, as we see, in the first video, you're gonna end up swiping on all the dating apps for two hours before you finally go to sleep. I've been talking to my mum and she said I'm on my own because I'm a hard person to love. I'm independent. I don't need anyone, but I do need someone. But when people love me, I push them away. And I don't know why that is. She's, and she's like, men don't like women that are hard to love. Men don't like women that are independent. They don't. Yeah, we don't because every single time you're saying independent, we laugh. We take it as a joke. Or maybe, as always, I'm just gonna talk about myself. Yeah, I do see it as a joke. I'm even gonna ignore that part where you said you don't need anyone, but you do need someone. Let's stick with the independent part. You're independent because you pay your own bills, you make your own money, you give yourself cookies. Congratulations. That doesn't make you independent. That makes you every single man ever past the age of 18. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. I bit a man at a bar last week because um, he touched my shoulder. I broke the skin. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The notification I just got... The notification she got is psychiatrist at 4.20 p.m. Okay, well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Still doesn't explain this type of competition between the two of you, but it explains a lot in your case. Also, you'll always be in first place in that type of competition. Something that really bothers me is the fact that that loser rat gets to say that he dated. Thank you, Queen. And you know what's worse? He now is going to go out and try to hoover other unsuspecting, beautiful, high-quality females because he thinks that he is worthy of us. In fact, that was a huge reason why he discarded me was because I boosted him so high that he now thought he could do better. <sighs> it's aggravating. So for my fellow sisters out there, I apologize. For him, holding an egg in each pocket is doing better. And I am still trying to keep this polite and respectful. But beautiful, high-quality women and you included yourself in that category? Come on now. The feminine urge not to try to fix things for your friends, but to just listen and hold space for them until they feel a little bit better. The masculine urge to interrupt. Yeah, no, I know it's terrible. 
Okay, look, I've been trashing men on this here internet for a long time. It's been a long career. But I just came home with food poisoning, and this man laid my pajamas, my LED face mask, my iPad out on the bed, plugged in, poured me a cold glass of water, packed my bong, and cleaned the bathroom for my arrival. They exist. Yes, they do. And you, unfortunately, don't deserve any of them. But this is exactly what it comes down to. She's living proof that bashing and trashing men on the internet or in real life is... It's only because up until now she never had a good man in her life. And yet somehow there's still no, I'm sorry, I was wrong. If you identify in any way as a hot girl, please listen up. It is officially fall. We are launching ourselves into hot girl autumn. Which quickly brings you one step closer to pregnant winter, a very sad long spring, quickly to be followed by single mom summer. And this is gonna be it for today, as always I do hope you enjoyed the video, if you didn't I still appreciate you for making it this far, thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you in the next one.